Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Today we are continuing our replay of the 1970 Chicago Cubs season. We are up to uh, April 15th, and uh, the second game of the first homestand. Yesterday we had the uh, opening day at Wrigley Field, and it was a very, very memorable affair. Um, I won't spoil it. It's on my channel. You can take a look. Uh, but there is one part of the game that we do have to talk about because it has a direct bearing on today's game, and that is, of course, the unfortunate and tragic maiming of Jim Hickman. There was a fly ball hit to a shallow center field um, by right fielder of the Phillies, Johnny Briggs. In the seventh inning with one out, there was nobody on. It was hit into shallow center field. Jim, Jim Hickman, the center fielder for the Cubs, came charging in. Don Kessinger, the shortstop, retreated. Glenn Beckert uh, retreated as well. And Beckert made the catch of the pop-up, but in so doing, uh, maimed Jim Hickman. Now, it is an event that this reporter will not soon forget, I can assure you. Jim was hauled off, <laughs> off the field. Excuse me, I'm a little emotional. And replaced by Joe Pepitone. Jim will miss around five games and uh, return to action after that point. Glenn Beckert, of course, felt guilty afterward. Uh, the clotheslining <laughs> that he gave Hickman was purely accidental and had nothing to do with any kind of a disagreement between the two before the game. So, uh, we have uh, the Cubs and the Phillies today at Wrigley Field, April 15th, 1970. The opposing pitchers for the Phillies will be Rick Wise. Now, Rick Wise in 1970 was 13 and 14 in 34 starts. Uh, are very arguably the ace of their staff at that time. For the Cubs, it'll be Milt Pappas going. Uh, he, of course... It's part of the replay that I'm doing where uh, Milt Pappas and Joe Pepitone are not acquired during the season, but they are with the team from the very beginning. And what that will mean is we are testing to see if that would have made an eventual outcome, a difference in the outcome in the National League East. So we're testing that in our replay. The lineups, especially after the unfortunate maiming of Jim Hickman, uh, will not be as played. Uh, Pepitone actually is in today's lineup. The Phillies lineup will be as played, and I'm doing all of the starting pitchers for the Cubs uh, handedness as played. So uh, the Phillies were facing a right-handed pitcher in real life. The pitcher was Joe Decker, but I'm replacing him with Pappas in today's game. With all of that said, thank you again for joining us, and let's get to today's starting lineup. The visiting Phillies leading off at shortstop, it's Larry Boa, batting second at second base, Denny Doyle, batting third in right field, Johnny Briggs, batting fourth, uh, the first baseman, Darren Johnson, batting fifth behind the plate, Tim McCarver, batting sixth, the center fielder, Larry Heisel, batting seventh, the left fielder, Tony Taylor, batting eighth, the third baseman, Don Money, and batting ninth, it's pitcher Rick Wise, who, as indicated, 13 and 14 on the 1970 season in 220 innings of work and 34 starts. All right, for the Cubs, leading off, it's Don Kessinger at shortstop, Glenn Beckert batting second at second base, Billy Williams batting third in left field, Ron Santo batting fourth at third base, Johnny Callison batting fifth in right field. Ernie Banks batting sixth at first base. Joe Pepitone batting seventh, and he'll play center field. 
Randy Hundley will bat eighth and do the catching, and Milt Pappas will be on the mound. For the Cubs, in 20 starts in 1970, Pappas went 10 and 8 uh, in 145 innings of work. All right, so with all of that, we are ready to go and uh, play some afternoon baseball at Wrigley Field. Of course, we are long before the lights were introduced, 18 seasons before the lights were introduced at Wrigley. Pappas will be an A-grade pitcher today, and Rick Wise will be as well. So we have a couple of guys on their game today. Roll the dice. The black die will be the first digit. The white die will be the second digit. I have fast action cards we'll use to resolve a lot of the plays. The first pitch of the game from Mil Pappas to Larry Boa is a 52. We'll see if there's a strikeout. There is not. So... It's an error check for Don Kessinger. Don Kessinger's error number is a six. Kessinger does make a one base error and Boa is aboard to start the ball game. We are underway. And so Milt Pappas has a challenge right off the bat. Here's Doyle. Pappas the stretch. Check Boa, the delivery is a ballpark check. So we're going to get a D20. That's a one. And that's going to be hit deep by Doyle. Unbelievable. Headed to the right field corner. And it can't be. Nope. Doyle does not have a park home run. And so... Joe Pepitone will make the catch for out number one. Deep sigh of relief from Milt Pappas, and now it's Johnny Briggs coming to the plate. Pappas the stretch, and the delivery is a 43. That will be hit to center field. Pepitone, one more time, takes it for out number two. And Darren Johnson comes to the plate. With two outs and Boa still at first. The pitch to Darren... Got to see if we struck him out. He did not. 51 is a error check for Milt Pappas. He is a 7. But he makes the play and flips it to Banks for out number 3. So we played a half an inning. In the books. Phillies nothing. Cubs coming to bat in the bottom of the first. It'll be Kessinger... Beckert and Williams in the Cubs first. Rick Wise winds and delivers. Ground ball, Denny Doyle. He's up with it and throws to Darren Johnson for out number one. Wise kicks and deals to Beckert. To left, but not deep. Tony Taylor coming on and makes the catch for out number two. Here comes Billy Williams. Wise pitch to sweet swinging Billy Williams. See if we struck him out. No, he didn't. And that's a comebacker to Wise. His error number is a four. He flips to Darren Johnson, and that will retire the Cubs in the first. So after one... No score at Wrigley in the bright sunshine of April 15th, 1970. If you would like some tutorials about fall classic baseball, check out Cards and Dice TV. My friend Tony Porter has a whole lot of stuff for you to check out. I will have the link to fall classic baseball so you can check out their products instructions for free, all that good stuff on their website in the description for this video. Milt Pappas winds and delivers to McCarver is a base hit, and McCarver's on to lead off the second. Comes Larry Heisel.
Larry's in the batter's box. Pappas the stretch and the delivery. And this is trouble. This is going to be to left and deep. It's going to be off the wall. Billy Williams got to run it down. And we got to do an arm check on Billy. That will score McCarver all the way from first base. And it's one nothing Phillies as Larry Heisel gets a double off the wall in left field. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Larry goes deep on that one. Tony Taylor coming to the plate. Nobody out in the Philly second. The pitch to Tony. Ballpark check. That's a 15. And that will be against the right-hander, foul ball. So, get to do it again. Next delivery to Taylor is a 32. Ground ball hit to Kessinger. He's going to hold Heisel at second and make the play to Banks at first. And there's one down in the Phillies second. Now it's money. Pappas the stretch and the delivery. Ground ball. Kessinger to Banks, two down. And now a pretty good hitting pitcher, Rick Wise. Pappas the stretch and the delivery to Rick Wise. Ground ball, Santo. He gloves it to his left, he plants and throws to Banks and the side is retired in inning number two. Phillies get a run on two hits, and they leave one. After an inning and a half, it's Philadelphia 1, Chicago nothing. Cubs will send Santo, Callison, and Banks, righty, lefty, righty, to the plate in inning number two. And the pitch from Rick Wise to Ron Santo is a, could be trouble. This is to left. It's deep. It's going to be caught in the well by Tony Taylor. One down. Here's Callison. Wise winds and delivers. Hit to center. Larry Heisel into left center a few steps. Makes the catch for out number two. And now Ernie Banks. Wise wines and deals. Hey, struck him out. The broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. After two complete, Phillies one, Cubs nothing. Wise humped up on that fastball. Top of the order for Philly in the third. Boa Doyle and Briggs coming up. Boa 0 for 1, but reached on an error in the first. Pitch to him. Base hit for Boa. Into right field. Callison corrals it and throws it back in. Here's Doyle. Pappas the stretch. The pitch to Denny. It is to center a dying quail. Here comes Joe Pepitone, and he's going to get there for the out. One gone. In the Phillies third. Now it's Briggs. 0 for 1. Pitch from Pappas. Ground ball, Beckert. He gloves it to his left, his only play. To Banks at first. Boa moves up to second. Briggs is retired 4-3 on the putout if you're scoring at home. And if you are, oh my goodness. Darren Johnson at the plate now with two outs. And Boa in scoring position. Pappas the stretch, and the delivery, hey, struck him out, and that's Milt's first K on the day. We've played two and a half, and it's one nothing Phillies. Rick Wise, six up, six down. And we'll get the bottom third of the Cub order, Pepitone, Hundley, and... Uh, Pappas, 789 in the Cubs order. Rick Wise winds and deals. Pepitone launches one. This is deep to right. Under it is Briggs, and he'll make the catch for out number 
Wine in the third. Now it's Hundley. Wise wines and deals. Ground ball, Darren Johnson gloves it. He's going to take it himself. And there are two gone in the Cubs third. Here's Milt Pappas. Milt could hit a little bit. The pitch from Wise. Hey, he struck him out. Nine up and nine down for Rick Wise to start the ball game. After three, it's Phillies one, Cubs nothing. Cubs have a record right now of three and two so far in my replay. And the first home stand. this is the first home stand of the year for the Cubs. McCarver, Heisel, and Taylor, lefty, righty, righty, against Pappas in the fourth. Pappas winds and deals. He could hit him. He does not hit him. To center, but not deep. Pepitone, right center, makes the catch. One down. Heisel up, drove in a run with a double in the second. The pitch from Pappas is... A base hit for Larry Heisel. He's two for two. Taylor comes up. Pappas the stretch. The delivery to Taylor. Ground ball, Beckert. He goes to Kessinger for one. The relay to Banks, not in time. Taylor beats the wrap, so with two outs... Taylor replaces Heisel at second base, and Don Money comes to the plate. We're in the fourth, one nothing Phillies. Pappas the stretch and the delivery. Base hit for Money. Where's this one going? Right field. Uh, and around second goes Taylor. He's heading to third. There will be Phillies at the corners now with Wise coming to the plate. But there are two outs for the Cubs in the fourth. For Pappas in the fourth. Milt, the stretch, checks money, checks Taylor, the, the pitch home. To Rick Wise is to left, not deep. Billy Williams under it and puts it away for out number three. Bottom of the fourth coming, one nothing Phillies. Both pitchers on their game today. Top of the order for the Cubs in the fourth. Kessinger, Beckert, Williams coming up. Wise winds and deals in there. Could be a hit. It's going to be the first base runner in any event. And it is a base hit for Kessinger to start the fourth inning. Nine up and nine down. So Kessinger breaks the string. Here's Beckert. Wise the stretch. The delivery to Beckert is ground ball to Boa. He goes to Doyle for one. The relay to Johnson is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing 6 4 3 double play turned by the Cubs. And now it's Williams. Wise winds and deals. This is drilled to right. Is it deep enough? Briggs back. Briggs makes the catch near the wall, and that will retire the Cubs in the fourth. We go to the fifth. Phillies lead the Cubs, 1-0. Got a pitcher's duel going on, pitcher's battle. As the Phillies will send up the top of their order in inning number five, Boa, Doyle, and Briggs. Pappas wines and deals. Line shot at a diving Ron Santo. One down. Santo gets his uniform dirty. Doyle up 0 for 2. Pappas winds and delivers. Does he strike him out? No, he does not. 52 is an error check on Joe Pepitone. Pepitone is as a 2 error rating. And he makes the catch. Two down in the fifth. Here comes Johnny Briggs. 0 for 2 for Briggs. Pappas winds and deals. 
to left. Curving toward the line, Billy Williams on the run, and Billy Williams is there for out number three. That will do it for the Phillies in the fifth. We're halfway through this one. Phillies one, Cubs nothing. And the Cubs have gotten precious little even on base. Kessinger, their only base runner with a fourth inning single. Whereas Pappas has allowed five hits, but only one has crossed the pay station. Wise winds and delivers to Santo, and that's a base hit. A leadoff single in the fifth for the Cubs. Here's Callison. Wise the stretch, the delivery. Base hit for Callison. Where is it going? Center field. Santo around second. Slams on the brakes, and he'll hold at second. Two on now with nobody out in the bottom of the fifth for Banks. Ernie Banks at the plate. His next home run will be number 500. Wise the stretch and the delivery. Hit to left and deep. This drives Tony Taylor back, but he's got room, and he makes the catch for out number one. Banks sitting on 499. Here's Pepitone, 0 for 1. Pitch from Wise. Ground ball, Darren Johnson. He turns and fires to Boa at second. The relay to Wise at first is not in time. Pepitone beats the rap. Santo advances to third. There's Cubs at the corners with two outs now for Hundley. One of the heroes of yesterday's game. Wise the stretch, the delivery. Hey, struck him out. Number three for Rick Wise, and that closes out the Cubs fifth. We go to the sixth. It's Phillies one, Cubs nothing. And it'll be Johnson, McCarver, and Heisel coming up for Philadelphia in inning number six. All right. Pappas winds and deals to Johnson. Ground ball. Ernie Banks, he's going to flip to Pappas covering, and there's one down in the Phillies' sixth. Here's Tim McCarver. One for two on the day he scored the Phillies' run. It's hit to right. Callison towards right center. Makes a nice running catch, and there's two down. Here's Heisel, two for two. And he possesses the Phillies' RBI on the day. Pitch to Larry. Hey, struck him out. And that's number two for Pappas. And that ends the Philly sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Philadelphia one. Chicago nothing. Wise will face Pappas. And then Kessinger. And then Beckert in the Cubs half of inning number six. Rick winds and deals, and there's going to be trouble. Pappas gets into one. This is going to be extra bases around first. Taylor's got to get it out of the corner. Pappas heading to second. He's got a leadoff double. Cubs have something going here in the sixth. Kessinger up. Beckert on deck. Uh, how do they want to do this? Why is the stretch? The pitch home to Kessinger. He squares to Bunt. He gets it down. Bunted at Don Money, who takes it and fires to Denny Doyle covering first for the putout as Pappas advances to third with one out and nears Beckert. So the bunt moves Pappas to third, and now it's Beckert. Philly's infield is going to move in here in the sixth. 
They are nursing a one to nothing lead. Wise the stretch and the delivery. 54 chart. Uh, nothing. So McCarver blocks the breaking ball in the dirt. Ball one to Becker. Wise next delivery is a 61. Hey, struck him out. Doesn't happen often, but he got Beckert on strikes. Two down, and now it's Williams. Needs to come through the tying run 90 feet away. Wise, the stretch, and the delivery, and there's a base hit. We got a tie game. Sweet swinging Billy Williams drives home. Pappas with the tying run, and it's a 1-1 ball game. Wise disgusted with himself, and here's Santo. One for two, wise the stretch, and the delivery is to left and deep. This one drives Taylor back to the wall. It is gone, a 3-1 lead for the Cubs. Santo, his second in two days. Now wise really has something to be upset about, and it's 3-1 Cubs. Callison, one for two. Rick Wise winds and delivers to center and deep. This will drive Heisel back, but he's got room and puts it away for out number three. Three runs for the Cubs in the bottom of the sixth. On three hits, they don't leave anybody. After six complete, Cubs three, Phillies one. Taylor, Money, and Wise coming up in the Phillies seventh. Taylor, 0 for 2. Pappas winds and delivers. To left, not deep. Billy Williams, one down. Pappas has now retired eight in a row. Don Money up. Pappas kicks and deals. Could be... Hey, struck him out. Number three for Milt. Nine in a row. Here comes Wise. They're gonna let him bat. Pappas winds and deals. Hey, struck him out. Number four for Wise, and that'll end the Philly seventh. It's time to stretch him out at Wrigley. With your score, Chicago three, Philadelphia one, going to the bottom of the seventh. Banks, Pepitone, and Hundley coming up for the Cubs in the seventh. Banks 0 for 2, the pitch. Combacker, gloved by Wise. He takes a couple steps toward Johnson and flips him the ball for out number one. Here's Pepitone. 0 for 2 for Pepe. Base hit up the middle. He's on. 1 for 3, and here's Hundley. Philly's infield moves to double play depth. Milt Pappas is in the on-deck circle. Wise the stretch, and the delivery is hit to left. Tony Taylor back. Tony Taylor makes the catch for out number two. Pepitone retreats to first, and that'll bring up Pappas. Milt is one for two. He doubled and scored last inning. The pitch to Milt from Wise, 53. Did he strike him out? Yes, he did. He got him on some high heat. Fifth strikeout for Wise, and that closes out the Cubs in the seventh. We go to the eighth with your score. Chicago three, Philadelphia one. Top of the order coming for Philly. Boa. Doyle and Briggs switch lefty lefty. Pappas, ten in a row retired, approaching fatigue. 
Might have enough to finish. We'll see. Boa's one for three. The pitch to him. Ground ball, Kessinger. He's up with it and throws to Banks. One gone. Pappas string continues. 11 in a row. Doyle up. 0 for 3. Pitch to Denny. Line shot at Kessinger. Two down. Four outs to go for Pappas. Close to getting his first win as a Cub since the deal with the Braves before the season. Briggs 0 for 3, the pitch. Ballpark check. See what we got here. Eighth inning, six. Foul ball. So Pappas ahead in the count. No balls, one strike. Johnny 0 for 3 in the game. Pappas kicks and deals. Base hit for Briggs to right field. That's going to bring up the tying run in Johnson. He's 0 for 3. Cubs bullpen starting to get busy. It'll be Joe Decker starting to throw. Along with Phil Regan. Righty righty action in the Cub bullpen. Darren Johnson up. Two outs in the eighth. He's the tying run. Pappas the stretch. Checks Briggs at first. The deal. The, the pitch home is going to be a ground ball to Santo. He's going to go the short way to Beckert covering second. And that retires the Phillies in the eighth. We're going to the ninth. No, we're not. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. With your score. Cubs three. Phillies one. Top of the order for the Cubs, Kessinger, Beckert, and Williams. Rick Wise winds and deals. 53, does he strike him out? No, he doesn't. Shot toward Darren Johnson. Johnson dives toward the line. His range is a three, and it's by him, down the line, into the corner. Briggs got to go dig it out. Kessinger around first. He will take second with a double, and he's an important insurance run. The Phillies bullpen gets busy. And it's going to be... Yikes. They're going to have Grant Jackson get up and start to throw. Beckert up. Wise the stretch and the delivery to the Cubs second baseman. Could be ball four. Isn't ball four. Ground ball hit to Denny Doyle to his left. He gloves it and throws to Johnson as Kessinger moves to third with one out. Billy Williams comes to the plate with Santo on deck. Philly's infield moves in. They're going to pitch to Williams. Why is the stretch? And the delivery is going to be hit to right and deep. Back goes... Briggs, and it's gone. A two-run bomb for Williams. It's 5-1 Cubs in the bottom of the eighth as Billy Williams provides RBIs number two and three on the day with his home run. And the Cubs now extend to a four-run lead. Santo up. Base hit for Santo. Allison do, and that's going to do it for Rick Wise. Out of the dugout comes Frank Lucchese, and he wants Grant Jackson. 
the left-hander out of the Phillies bullpen to take on Callison with one out and Santo at first. Wise is done for the day, seven and a third innings. Nine hits. He did not walk anybody. He struck out five. He allowed five runs. They're all earned. And Santo at first base is his responsibility. So here's Grant Jackson, the left-hander. Five and 15 in 1970. Callison, one for three. Jackson, the stretch. And the delivery is gonna be ball four. He walked. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, eighth inning. 18, no, it's hit to center. Under it is Heisel. He makes the catch, Santo returns to first, and there are two down now, and Banks will come to the plate. Banks over three, the pitch from Grant Jackson is to left, it's got a chance. Jackson is an A. Is he get enough of it? It is going to be gone. A home run for Banks, and that is number 500 on his career. Ernie Banks just hit number 500 off left-hander Grant Jackson, and the Cubs take a 7-1 to one lead. Pepitone coming up. The pitch from Jackson to center. Dying Quail coming on his Heisel, and he puts it away for out number three. The Cubs add four on four hits. A two-run homer by Billy Williams and Ernie Banks' 500th home run of his career. And we go to the ninth with the Cubs leading 7-1. to one. Milt Pappas is back out. In the bullpen is Joe Decker. Regan has taken a seat, and it'll be McCarver, Heisel, and Taylor unless the Phillies go to the bench. McCarver, one for three. The pitch from Pappas, a 52. Does he strike him out? No, he does not. Ground ball headed for Beckert to his right. He gloves it. He plants, he throws to Banks, and they get McCarver for out number one. Heisel up now, two for three. Pappas two outs from a complete game victory in his first game as a Cub. The pitch from Milt Pappas is a 52. That is not a strikeout. Hit again to Beckert. Beckert to his left this time. He boots this one, throws it in the dirt, and Banks can't dig it out. Around first goes Heisel. He will take second. The throw gets into the Phillies' dugout. And so it'll be Taylor now. 0 for 3, this pitch from Pappas, a 63. Ground ball, Beckert. He goes to Kesson, he goes to Banks for the out as Heisel advances to third. And the last chance saloon will be Don Money for the Phillies today. On deck is a pinch hitter for Jackson, that is Oscar Gamble. Pappas the stretch, and the delivery, this is to left, and it's deep. Back goes Williams, and it's gone. A two-run homer for Don Money, and it is suddenly a 7-3 ball game. And here comes Leo DeRocher. He wants the ball, and he wants a new pitcher. So the pitcher will be Joe Decker, who was two and seven in real life. 
or as the kids like to say, IRL. And he will take over here in inning number nine. Oscar Gamble has a bat, and he is standing in the on-deck circle waiting for Decker to finish his warm-up tosses. It is 7-3 Cubs. And I think Leo DeRocher just decided Milt Pappas had had enough. So with two outs in the ninth, Oscar Gamble becomes the last chance saloon for Philadelphia. As he pinch hits for Grant Jackson. Decker, oh, see what kind of stuff Decker has. He has B stuff. And the pitch to Gamble is a 61. Hey, struck him out, and that will end the ball game. So Milt Pappas does not get his complete game, but he does get a victory in his first game as a Cub. Ernie Banks gets his 500th career homer. The Cubs... Totals go like this, seven runs on 11 hits. They made one error. The Phillies, three runs on seven hits, and they committed no errors. The winning pitcher is Milt Pappas. He goes to 1-0. and oh. Losing pitcher is Rick Wise. There was no save in the game. Cubs record now 4-2. and two. Thanks for being with me. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Check out Fall Classic Baseball. Have a great day, my friends. So long, everybody.